how did this land on you here this morning? Um, golly, it's it's been an you know we we were up till must have been up till six in the morning. <laughs> uh, it, it was it was just one of those one of those days and nights that you <clears throat> you know that you don't want to end. Uh, it was remarkable, and we ended up going to the Patriots party, which you know, as it as it turns out, was more of a kind of a uh, a ticketing kind of deal where there was a mass of humanity there, and mm. uh, Chris came to the conclusion pretty quickly, and uh, we want to get out of there. And we went back to the hotel, and Chris, Kyle, Howie, uh, some of his friends from home. <clears throat> we sat downstairs for till probably four in the morning. Then I went up to the room and uh, the game was on. And I went back from you know NFL Network to you know to highlights and you know pinching myself is this is this real? Um, it's so much better when your son has this opportunity and you know uh, and contributes and you know is is part of it and feels like he's part of it and. Uh, this is why you go there, and you know, as I said before, he, he took the Lewis and Clark route to get there. You know, the eight years in St. Louis and four and a half wins a year, and as an on an average, and mm. you know, just playing through all that and finding a way each Sunday night to say, I'm going to get back up again, and I'm going to I'm going to play, regardless of what the score is, regardless of what the record is. <clears throat> as he says, you know, because of the name on the back of my jersey. Uh, you know, and, and that's important. Uh, and I think it's one of the reasons why him going there made all the sense in the world because he's such a, a selfless guy. It's, you know, if you pay him a compliment, he, he automatically starts talking about other guys on the team that have also had journeys and have also made sacrifices and also play out of position and also, you know, up and down every week in terms of what your contribution is. That's just the Patriot way. Mm -hmm. So can, what was that moment like? What was the conversation, if you wouldn't mind me prying, when you finally met on that turf and you saw your son and, and he, he looked you in the eyes and, we and you were, had that moment? Uh, Rich, we were both um, – we were both just <clears> – <throat> I think for both of us, all of the – all of the pain and, you know, sacrifice and suffering and all the hard work, you know, we train up in Montana and pushing trucks and running hills and, uh, you know, doing all the things that no one sees and coming back from ankle surgery and fractured leg and, um, you know, the things that he's very private about, but, uh, <clears throat> you know, I, I, we see firsthand and, just to realize that this, in this moment, it, it's it doesn't get any better than that uh, for a dad, for a son, <clears throat> for my wife, for our family. Uh, it was remarkable. I mean, and and you know, Rich, <clears throat> the game was such. <laughs> you know, it was so funny because it's funny now. Yeah, uh, right. <clears throat> you know, down twenty-eight to three, and. You know, it's the it's the third quarter, and uh, Usher comes in to our green room, and I can hear him in the hallway yelling. He's got all his Atlanta stuff on, and for a momentary flash, I was 28, and I wanted to choke him. <laughs> 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 and he's such a good guy. He really, he's <clears throat> he's actually one of the nicest people I've I've ever been around. He's just a genuinely nice man. Uh, and but it, and it was just in my head, Rich. You yeah. know. Being John Malkovic, you know, it's it's that in my head things go on, and yes, right. in, in in that moment I was choking him. <laughs> <clears throat> and you know, the game really was yeah. <clears throat> for both teams. It was, and at different times it was elation, it was shock, and it was despair. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.